As the first and most recognizable hero in DC Comics, Superman has been a natural choice to lead the Justice League, but the Martian Manhunter might be a better fit to head up DC's team of heroes. The Justice League and teams like it were built to be a protective force to the people of Earth, so it makes sense they'd be led by the very epitome of hope, Superman. They've saved countless lives together, creating a safe world for the people of Earth under Superman's guidance. But Kal-El isn't the only one who is a great leader. As the driving force behind plenty of Justice League teams, John John Zuck of the Martian Manhunter is the perfect candidate for leadership. Having led the Justice League International, Justice League of America, and Justice League Task Force, the Martian Manhunter has a lot of experience under his belt and created many of these teams after the original Justice League was disbanded. The Martian Manhunter's strongest leadership role was during Justice League International, 1987, by Keith Giffen, J. M. Demetes, Kevin McGuire, Al Gordon, Gene D'Angelo, and Bob Lapban. Batman gave up the position of leadership to John Johns because he saw that the Martian would look at the Earth as a unified whole and would use his power of leadership to protect everyone on Earth rather than just one country. John was level-headed and the only one Batman felt he didn't need to coddle during the early stages of the Justice League International. The Martian Manhunter's prior experience as part of a team led him to make the right decisions and ultimately lead the only Justice League on Earth for a while. He forged a relationship with the countries of the world and made sure every single person felt cared for and protected in some way. That wasn't the only instance of John stepping up to become a leader. In the wake of the Justice League once again being disbanded, apparently this happens a lot, the Martian Manhunter took it upon himself to create a new team. So he created the titular team of Justice League Task Force by Mark Wade, Sal Valuto, Jeff Albrecht, David Graef, and Bob Pinaha. The Martian Manhunter knew the people of Earth would need a team to protect them from the horrors of the world, so he took it upon himself to craft a finely tuned team to take on villainy. He managed to create a perfectly functional team and save the world many times over, with the help of his friend Laron. He proved himself as the best candidate for leadership and was able to control the wacky and zany ways of the members of this new Justice League. Most of John's leadership experience came from teams that certainly had a bunch of internal issues as a result of their strange rosters of heroes. He built up a tolerance to this sort of wildness and even learned how to rein it in so these teams could still do their job well. The Martian Manhunter even led the Justice League of America itself for a time before it all fell apart. While his stints as a leader may not have lasted that long, they definitely proved worth it in the end. These teams that he led gave the world its rightful protectors during times when these teams were otherwise lost. The people of Earth would never feel alone with the Martian Manhunter there to guide new heroes towards being their protectors. Arguably, because of the absence of the original Justice League, John's time leading these teams was pivotal to the growth of the DCU. He managed many dysfunctional teams and got them to work together towards one common goal. The Martian Manhunter proved to rival Superman in his ability to lead any version of the Justice League.